नमस्कार इन दिस वीडियो विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द इंटरप्रिटेशन ऑफ वोकल रेजोनेंस वोकल फेमिटिस एंड चेस्ट प्रकर्शन इन डिफरेंट रेस्पिरेटरी डिजीजेस सो वी विल ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड देम विद अ सिंपल फिजिक्स कॉन्सेप्ट इन फिजिक्स यू माइट हैव रेड दैट देर आर टू टाइप ऑफ वेव्स वन ऑफ वाइब्रेशन वेव्स एंड अदर आर द साउंड वेव्स द वाइब्रेशन वेव्स ट्रेवल बेटर इन द एयर मोर देन फ्लूड मोर देन सॉलिड वेर एज द साउंड वेव्स ट्रेवल बेटर इन सॉलिड मोर देन लिक्विड मोर देन एयर For example, if you take two boxes, one full of air and one full of water, and you try to tap it from outside, the vibration produced in the box with air will be of a good resonant note. Whereas, if you tap the box with the water, it will be more of a dull note. And the other concept that you need to know is, if the source of sound is taken away from the hearer, in that case, the intensity heard by the receiver will decrease. Like if there is a speaker present, and if a person is standing, and if 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 he moves away from the speaker, he'll hear less. Okay, so this is the first concept that you need to know. Now, if you tap on the patient uh, on the patient's chest, like you were tapping on a box, that is known as a chest percussion. Whereas, if you ask the patient to speak. and you palpate those sound waves over the patient chest that that is known as vocal fimitus whereas if you auscultate the sound waves that are produced by the patient speaking then it is known as vocal resonance okay so these are the first two concept that you need to know and the third concept is you need to know about the normal anatomy that is this is the larynx then there is trachea then there is bronchus bronchi and the alveoli containing the ear this is the visceral pleura this is the chest wall and between these lies the pleural cavity which contains minimal pleural fluid and within the larynx vocal cords are present which acts as the source of sound that is whenever the person speaks the these vocal cord vibrate and these vibrations then travel up and are articulated by the tongue and the other parts of oral cavity okay so with these basic concepts we will first now talk about the chest percussion and as we have already discussed in chest percussion we tap on the patient's chest and the vibration waves are produced and we look for the note and we know that the vibration waves travel better in air greater than liquid and greater than solid so whenever there is increased air either within the lung or within the pleural cavity there will be a better note that is the hyper resonant note whereas whenever there is increased fluid in the pleural cavity or there is increased fluid within the lung or there is decreased air in the lung or there is increased solid within the lung in these all cases vibrations waves will be traveling less and in this case the note will be dull okay so like if the fluid increase in the pleural cavity or in the lung or there is increase decreased air in the lung or there is increased solid in the lung in all cases there will be a dull note now whenever there is increased air in the pleural cavity it is known as pneumothorax whereas when there is increased air in the lung it is known as emphysema so in pneumothorax and, and emphysema we will get a hyperresonant note as there is increased air and the vibration waves travel better in air whereas if there is increased fluid within the pleural cavity it is known as pleural effusion increased fluid accumulation in the lung alveoli is known as consolidation decreased air in the lung alveoli is known as collapse whereas if there is increased solid content in the lung like example can happen in a lung cancer in these all cases vibration waves will be produced less and in that case there will be a dull note and specifically for pleural effusion the note that we get is a stony dull whereas for a consolidation the note we that we get is a woody dull okay so with this we have learned about the interpretation of chest percussion in different disease diseases with a simple concept of vibration waves now we'll be discussing about the vocal resonance and vocal fimitus as we have already discussed whenever a person speaks the vocal cords gets vibrated and normally the vibration waves goes up and gets articulated by the oral cavity similarly the vibration wave the sound waves will go down will go through the trachea into the alveoli 
will go on to the lung surface and then come on to the chest wall and if we auscultate these sound waves this is known as vocal resonance and if we palpate this then it is known as vocal fremitus okay now to under understand the interpretation first we will look at the pleural cavity whenever there is accumulation of air or fluid in the pleural cavity what will happen is the distance between the source of sound and the receiver will increase because now there is something occupying between the lung and the chest wall so the source of sound and the receiver increases so either the air accumulates or the fluid accumulates in the pleural cavity in both cases the vocal fremitus and vocal resonance will be decreased as the source of sound has moved away from the receiver okay whereas within the lung if there is increased fluid in the lung in that case the sound waves will be tra traveling better as they travel better in liquid so there will be increased vocal resonance whereas if the air increases in the alveoli in that case there will be decreased vocal resonance and decreased vocal fremitus as the sound waves travel less in air so whenever there is increased air or increased fluid in the pleural cavity that is in case of pneumothorax or pleural effusion in both cases the vocal resonance and vocal fremitus will be decreased whereas in pathology of lung if there is increased air in the lung that is emphysema there will be decreased vocal resonance and vocal fremitus and if there is increased fluid in the lung that is in case of consolidation there will be increased vocal resonance and vocal fremitus to sum up if there is consolidation the vocal fremitus and vocal resonance will increase as the sound waves travel better in fluid whereas the percussion will be dull as the vibration waves travel less in fluid in case of pleural effusion vocal resonance and vocal fremitus will be decreased because the sound of source has moved away from the receiver whereas there will be dull percussion because increased fluid decreases the vibration waves similarly for the pneumothorax there will be decreased vocal fremitus and vocal resonance as the source is away whereas there will be hyper resonant percussion because of increased air in case of emphysema there will be decreased vocal fremitus and vocal resonance as incre in increased air sound waves travel less but the percussion will be hyper resonant okay so one mistake which you don't have to make is this that is you can get confused in the vocal fremitus and vocal resonance finding of consolidation and pleural effusion you might think that in pleural effusion fluid is increasing so sound waves should travel better and the vocal fremitus or vocal resonance should increase but as the source of sound is getting away the vocal fremitus and the vocal resonance is decreasing